Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we have a good episode for you. We uh, are going to be redoing our hardwood floors in our log cabin back there. Uh, what a fun experience that was, let's just say that. Uh, some things including a bird and other things went wrong, so please uh, watch the video and uh, see what happened. But uh, anyway, a couple other things before we uh, get to it. Uh, we have included uh, timestamps in our videos, so you guys can skip forward to like say the trail cams at the end of the video or whatever you want to see in the timestamps uh, quickly. I think it'll make it easier for you guys to, to get to the content you want. Uh, secondly, uh, YouTube Shorts. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with YouTube, YouTube Shorts, they're uh, videos that are under a minute. Um, we've been posting some of those of like sunsets and moose and things like that, and uh, gotten some success from it. So we just wanna make sure that uh, you guys aren't, aren't getting um, overburdened with notifications from them or if you like them or not. So please comment below if you like the YouTube Shorts. Uh, we'll still be doing our long videos here, um, but I think it's a good compliment to them because uh, it allows us to post some of the, the quick stuff that happens, like sunsets and foxes running through the yard, that kind of thing on, on there. Anyway, uh, let's uh, get to it and uh, I'll see you back here in a bit. Okay guys, uh, today we're gonna do the flooring here. Redo it all. As you can see, the previous owners had dogs and stuff, and I don't think it's ever been done. You can see like the scratches from their feet and stuff, or the nails on the floor. So we have a lot to do. We're gonna move all this out. We're gonna sand it all down, and then uh, uh, revarnish it or whatever you call it. So it's gonna be a lot of work. I'm gonna go out and get the um, sander now out of my truck, which is. Right there. That's the old floor, and this is the other floor just after being sanded. Big difference.
Hey guys, it's morning after. I'm a little tired today. Uh, the sander was a little bit of a, a bee to uh, use, let's just say that. <laughs> uh, it would only do like two inches at a time. Yeah, fun. It's an eight inch sander. But anyway, long story short, we got it done. So it looks a lot better than it did before. I was trying to get a bird when I flew into the house. Part 500. Take 500? Get it ready? Like, this is not going to work, I'm telling you right now. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, that was close! That was super yeah, close. Yeah, close doesn't matter when he can dodge a freaking a fly <laughs> going 100. Okay, go. Oh! Where did he go? Just above your box. Okay, so this took a, a very long time to do. Um, about almost three hours to be exact. I was a little frustrated in this clip, but, uh, you know, we had lots to do and the bird wasn't going toward windows or anything, so we'd been chasing him around for quite a while at this point. Anyway, the box jerk you see on, this, on the uh, screen, that did not work at all. Uh, so what I ended up doing was uh, cardboarding off a corner of the roof there where he kept flying to, like one of the logs there. And he flew into that area and felt a little more comfortable, so I climbed the ladder and then trapped him with a cloth. And then I was able to grab him and take uh, him outside. Him or her outside. Uh, and then it uh, flew away and uh, seemed to be okay. So it ended well and everything, but man, that was frustrating. Right in the middle of the day, we were losing light, we had lots to do. So anyway, but all ended well, the bird is okay. And I think we've seen them at the bird feeders already again. So, <laughs> and when I went out, actually funny enough, when I went outside uh, the next time to, to, to look at the birds and stuff, one was dive bombing me and they usually don't do that. So I think he might've been the one <laughs> anyway. He was a little upset with the whole situation, but all ended well. Okay, we've sanded and uh, vacuumed everything up. Now we're uh, going to start doing the living room here. Okay, so this is the brush we use. I don't know what it's called. A Sureline. Anyway, it's a little foam pad. Works pretty well. Okay, so we did a part of the room, so you can see. And apparently it's supposed to have like a milky texture to it. We find because we do three coats, well, we've been doing three coats, that the second and third coat are the milkiest. Uh, you're probably going to have a hard time seeing that with the camera, but it's a little milky there. That's apparently what you want, at least on this stuff. And let me take you over to the uh, can of it over here. This is the stuff we got. There. 
apparently it goes on completely clear and uh, it doesn't go yellow like the uh, other stuff we have or we're, we're going to return. One of the things you want to avoid when applying the polyurethane is uh, these bubbles like this. Obviously I did that for exaggeration, but you can get them uh, when they dry like that, then you have to sand them and re-coat re and stuff. It's a pain in the butt, but they will dry exactly as you leave them like that. So just try to limit them as much as possible. It's a little dark in here, but anyway, that's the finished first layer anyway. We got two more to go. Okay, so this is the uh, finished product. It's a little glary in here, so hopefully you guys can see. This is three coats of the uh, stuff we put on. I can't remember the name of it now. Polyethylene, I think it is, something like that. Anyway, uh, so yeah. You know, we haven't put everything back yet, but everything's uh, pretty much done in terms of the floor. We have to take off some tape and that there, but anyway, so that's the floor. I think it looked, turned out pretty good. Some areas that could have been sanded a bit better, but overall, not bad. For the first time ever doing anything like this anyway. <laughs> coming to investigate, are you? Yeah, I'm just showing them the floor. Yeah, it's showing people the floor. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? So anyway, that's a close-up. <laughs> Stop looking the camera. That's a close-up of the floor, guys. Nice and smooth. Yeah, you like this camera, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> this silly dog. I'm not a professional by any stretch of imagination, but uh, if you guys have any uh, questions, leave them in the comments, and I, I'll try to answer answer them the best I can. So we're gonna get rid of our leftover pumpkins and squash. Or whatever. Are these all pumpkins? Yeah. yeah. Forgive me, I don't know that stuff. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get to uh, go out and chop these up with the machete out in the field just over there. And supposedly the moose and deer eat them and it's really good for their health. So I'm gonna set up a trail cam out there to point at it as well. And uh, no, we don't trap or do this for hunting or anything like that. We're just uh, out there feeding them. So we're not baiting them or anything, just in case people wonder. I'm actually not going to put another camera out because we have that one set up there, so we thought we'd put it back here instead. So uh, let's, let's start. So I think what we should do is just put these, uh, throw them out there and we'll hack them up on the ground. <laughs> right about here. Well, yeah, it keeps the animals away from the street and stuff. Alright, All right, so then we'll hack them up with the machete. Okay, go. I think they can probably step on them themselves, but this way we still get to... Uh, they get the smell the then. Smell and stuff, right? Alright, there we go. It's not too... 
too cold right now. So. Yeah. They'll like that. Huh? They'll like that. Yeah. There we go. All good. I'm out of breath. <laughs> anyway, there we go. That should feed some deer and stuff. Let's see. Trail cam's right there. So maybe not this video coming up, but next video you might have some footage of that. over in the summer so I moved it. If I fall don't record that. <laughs> so this might want to remove all this barbed wire and stuff. There's no point in here. If you fall I'm gonna record it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put it here. Still little creatures running around all over the ground. Eh? Even though it's getting cold and... I saw a frog the other day. Oh do we have the machete in the truck? Yeah. Do you wanna go grab it? Going to get the machete. See? The machete. I know. And I'm already cold. It's like starting to rain. Too long because I don't want them playing with it and ripping off the cord. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And also stick around for the trail cam footage that follows this. Um, we've got really good footage this week, so you're definitely going to want to st stick around for that. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Have a good one.